The Vision Recognition Award honors professionals or a professional for their contribu contribution to the community through vision and innovation. Christopher Yukalan has been selected as the recipient of the Vision Recognition Award. Chris is a Pennsylvania-born artist and activist who has been intertwined, who has intertwined his artistic talent with a passion for community betterment. He began his community-centered career at the Boys and Girls Club in Ohio, subsequently exhibiting his art and installations since the early 90s. As an artist, he exhibited in New York, Spain, Italy, and Austria. He became the commute, oh, relocated to South Florida in 2001. Chris became the Community Integration Director for the Mental Health Association of Southeast Florida, managing the first Mental Health AmeriCorps program. His service to the community was recognized by Nami Brower 2007 Times Award. This year, Chris was also recognized in Brower's Positively Speaking for his 30 years of activism. In 2009, Chris was promoted to the Adult Services Director at MHA, overseeing the Nine Muses Art Center. The Nine Muses Art Center promotes mental health and wellness in the community through the arts, helping to cement both of Chris's twin passions. He was again recognized for his community contribution by the Community Foundation of Broward County with the Footsteps in the Sand Award in 2011. Chris has served on numerous boards and causes to help the community, including the Public Art Advisory for the City of Wilton Manors, Art Cultural Tourism Board for the City of Lauderhill, DCF's Planning Council, and an HIV educator for the Broward County Health Department, just to name a few. Working with and caring for people with mental illness can be challenging and rewarding, but the Nine News, Nine News is Art Center at the Mental Health America of Southeast Florida, formerly the Mental Health Association, provides adults with mental disorders an opportunity to regain mental health through the use of fine art, support groups, and mentoring. Participants are free to choose from a broad array of visual or performing arts. Classes are personalized. Instruction along with individual studio time, allowing members to create his or her own muse and engage in simul stimulating activity without regards to labels. Support groups for depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia are held weekly. Nine Muses has been promoting mental health awareness through the community for over 20 years and functions successfully as a peer-run organization. Members are free to come and go and participate in any class they wish, or sit, just simply sit and enjoy coffee and conversation with other members. Positive interaction creates a feeling of empowerment and strength that strengthens the recovery process amongst these patients. Here are what some people who know Christopher Yukalan had to share. So one person in particular states, during my 30 plus year tenure at Mental Health America, I consider the Nine Muses Art Center the most exciting project that has transformed lives. I call it the magic of the muses. Chris's devotion to these clients has empowered persons with mental illness to live an average life with a sense of purpose in the morning and accomplishment at the end of every day. Somebody else said, his in-your-face style of art addresses the injustices of the world in which we live. Throughout his career, Chris has worked with differently advantaged or socially stigmatized segments of our society, creating interactive installation artwork. Chris is an award-winning artist with international credentials. Through his work at Nine Muses has added, now caregiver, to the list of skills on his resume. Another states, at Nine Muses, participants are judged by what they do and not their diagnosis. There are no labels. Regardless of their behaviors and diagnoses, Chris maintains composure, acceptance, genuine and sincere warmth, while often having to put out the occasional fires. Hmm. Somebody else states, under Chris's direction, Nine Muses began became the Creativity Cafe, also known as Final Friday. 
where performance artists showcase their talents by playing music, singing, dancing, reading their poetry, and even telling jokes. This has been life-changing for many of these folks who struggle with mental And one last person says, to encourage persons with mental illness, often subsisting or assistance from, government, for go from governmental programs, Chris developed a curriculum and put together the training that allowed Nine Muses members to become certified peer specialists, a designation from the Florida Certification Board that has enabled our members to secure gainful employment, which aside from income, has enhanced the self-esteem and self-worth of people who for far too long have been marginalized and excluded from society. It is just a miracle to watch and thanks in part to Chris's vision. At this time, I present the Vision Recognition <laughs> Award to Christopher Huber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 